Welcome to the ETEX Building Performance Training Centre. Today we're going to be looking at two boards from Promat, Masterboard and Superlux. Masterboard can offer up to 30 minutes fire resistance and we have here some typical areas where it can be used. Doma cheeks, it can also be used on for ceiling linings, boiler backing where the fire resistance is required at the back of the boiler and normal gypsum plasterboard would deteriorate with the heat. Partitions, normal internal partitions. Semi-exposed applications and garages. Because it's uh, resistance to moisture, it can be used in areas of high humidity, etc. Swimming pool areas, again, it doesn't deteriorate with moisture, so it's very good for ceilings in swimming pool areas. Service enclosures, uh, ducts and pipework which need fire protection. Door upgrades. If you have a 30 minute fire door, by using masterboard, you can upgrade it to 60. Wet rooms. Because of its resistance to moisture, it's ideal for bathrooms and wet rooms. It can take up to 30 kilograms per square meter of tile. We now move on from masterboard to Superlux. Up to 240 minutes fire resistance. There are a lot of similarities between Masterboard and Superlux, but where Superlux outperforms Masterboard is in ceiling areas, on flash roofs, and the steel and beam column encasement. I'm now going to demonstrate the installation of a Superlux petition for 120 minutes fire protection. We're now ready to install our Superlux petition. We have our extra deep U track which is 92 millimeters, and we have our 90 millimeter C stud. This is the B gauge, 0.7 millimeter gauge metal. We will require an M6 anchor bolt for fixing our U tracks down to the concrete floor. The minimum requirement is 35 millimeters into the concrete. If you are fixing your U track to a ceiling, concrete ceiling, that has a deflection, then longer fixings will be required. I'm now ready to start building our Superlux petition. So with my extra deep track fixed to the floor and to the soffit, my starter stud fixed, I can now place in my intermediate studs. So that's all my intermediate studs placed in position. These will become fixed when we apply our Superlux board. So that's my 75 millimeter cover strips fixed to my metal stud. The purpose of the cover strips is to prevent the studs from twisting and buckling and it also keeps them cooler for longer. We're now going to install our Superlux board and the insulation. We're now ready to put our insulation into the petition. This is made up of two 50 millimeter layers. Each will be 100 kilograms per cubic meter. Because our insulation is in two layers, the second layer needs to overlap the first by a minimum of 150 millimetres. I'm now ready to install my Superlux boards. That's my first half Superlux board fixed. Distance between fixings is 250 millimetres. They need to also be 12 millimetres in from the edge of the board. Corners are also important, so we don't smash the corner. The fixing needs to be 50 millimetres down from the ceiling height and 100 millimetres in from the edge. 
and then our distance between our fixings is still 250 millimeters into the head track and the base track. So now I've got my half board fixed on the opposite side I can now fix a full board. So what we're demonstrating here is if our board height doesn't reach the partition height we have a, obviously an horizontal joint. We need to reinforce that horizontal joint by using a 75mm fillet. This will slot behind. I'm going to secure my fillet in place by putting fixings through the bottom board. I can then fix my top board in place and again screw through into the 75mm fillet. So what the fillet does is it prevents the boards from curling open in the heat of the fire. So that's the final board in position. All I have to do now is secure it. Thanks for watching. That's our Pro Map Superlux 120 minute fire petition completed. If you'd like to see this petition put through a fire test, then please follow the link at the end of this video.